Hi guys and welcome to RCC Adventures. Now today we are doing something a little bit different, a little bit special. So I've got Harlequin here and we all know that the paintwork on this car is terrible. There's lots of uh, crazing where the, uh, the lack has gone, on the, especially on the back door um, and on the rear quarter. Scuff marks, uh, paint chips, you name it, it's got it. So instead of doing what any normal person would do and well not not normal person what every average Joe would do is get the car resprayed I'm not doing that I'm doing what they class um, is a scene out there called rat look so I'm going to be using this stuff I've got here made by voodoo street genuine rust paint with an activator so we're going to be doing that on the old Harlequin here. So if we look here, the paint has pretty much gone all the way along there. So that's a good basis there for the rust paint. And especially down here, that's, that would look absolutely smashing with the, uh, the rust effect. I'm thinking of keeping this bit here because that gives like a patina kind of thing to it. But maybe dot a little bit around it. Now obviously I have rinsed the car off, I didn't wash it properly because I didn't want any chemicals or anything on the car itself so just a bit of water, get rid of all the marks and all the dirt that were on the car already and then uh, it's got a good base to uh, put this uh, paint stuff on. It will also go very nicely on here because this has gone horrible. So yeah I'm going to do that. I'm going to get you set up on a tripod, so you are going to be in one location most of the video. I'm going to get it, give it a go. So we're going to start on this back corner, see how it comes out, and then work our way around the car. But there is other plans with the car as well, as well as doing the rust stuff, is we're going to put a, uh, a roof rack on it. We've got the old roof rack from the van. Um, we're going to repair that and get that on there, but that might take a little bit of time. Uh, going to paint the wheels gloss black. Um, maybe find some other sort of rat look style kind of things. I was inspired really by the guy who bought the Chrysler because he turned up in a rat look mini and that was just immense. I know I've said it already in, the, in a video about what the, uh, the car was and it's inspired me to do it on this. It means I've got to keep the car which helps me show you and you guys probably will be happy with that. Um, I know I'm going to be happy about that but uh, anyway let's get to uh, the bit that I'm supposed to be doing instead of talking. Well, hopefully you won't move around too much and you can see clearly, but you are on my old tripod, which is so ghetto, it's unbelievable. It's being held together with tape. So, I think I've shaken that enough. Now, it says on the back, you've got a stir wheel. I've, I've shaken it. Uh, two coats of it, brush or sand, and then you activate. But I've had an email from the guys that you don't necessarily need to brush or sand. Um, because you put the activator on when the paint's not quite dry. Gives that a better finish. Right. See if I can get the lid off. Let it going everywhere. Hopefully what's in here is enough. You'll see. I'm not doing the whole entire car in it. I'm going to try and go for a kind of like a California uh, style patina look which is roofed down so that's what we're going to try or I might try and do my own kind of style not sure if the brush is going to be too big but we'll start off on this corner work our way that way with the activator you mix it with water there we go people. This does seem slightly wrong. Doesn't matter at this stage if I get it on the, uh, the rubbers on the top there. Oh, 
all due to the fact that uh, they'll be coming off when I put the roof rack on anyway. It says do two coats, so I'll spread it on the bit that I want. Without trying to get it on the lights or anything like that. Now I've seen videos of this stuff working and it seems to work really, really well. Kind of a bit like that. That would be quite a nice rust effect, I think. Going down there. Uh, yeah, I'm liking it so far already. Let's try and Miss the rubbed out bits. Make our way down. Like so. Now obviously, um, I will be putting on um, another coat, so it does seem weird taking a brush to your paint and knowing that it's going to cause rust. Seems odd. What we'll do as well is we'll get going down the back bumper. As well. Kind of like that. I might do the whole bumper in it, see how much I've got. But we'll start doing the proper design first, I think. And then, uh, then we'll do the bumper, I think. Might be the best idea. Right, so I'm going full. Use whatever's to hand style. Right, because I'm using a toothbrush for the sm just made it worth, but never mind. Using a toothbrush for the little bits, the intricate little tiny bits. It seems to work nicely. I might need to go back to a brush rather than a toothbrush. But yeah, you can kind of see how it's possibly going to look. And we just add from there. Definitely think I'm going to do the back bumper. Maybe do the whole thing. Hmm. I will carry on and we'll get back to you. Hopefully when it begins to rust. Well, as you see, I have uh, done quite a bit more. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a little bit more uh, patina on the roof. Uh, we haven't used a huge amount of this, actually, which is quite cool. But the bumper has had a form of two coats. Sides have had, a two, have had two coats. And I've started doing the tailgate. I've still got to have a second coat on it. Uh, but I think... So far, I quite like the way the design has come out. So far, um, obviously I still want to carry on. Uh, but again, I've done the bumper all the way around. I haven't touched the other side yet. But um, I think it's starting to do the activator stuff on the bits that have done two coats now. Because they're beginning to really kind of dry up. So let's get the activator on that. And then uh, maybe keep going. One thing I want to do though is the door mirror. Let's do the door mirror as well. And cut, cover that entirely, I think. I 
Hopefully I didn't get any on the glass. No, nope, that's cool. Same with the uh, door handle, so uh, door handle, door mirror surround. Hopefully there's still people out there watching. But yeah, time to get the activator stuff on. Let's actually get it to rust. Hmm. Right, I've changed your angle because the uh, the tripod was starting to move. It was starting to tilt. Right, we'll start off from the bit that I first started off with. This this activator stuff so, uh, smells quite a lot like vinegar, so it probably has got vinegar in it. Oh, it's watery. It's very watery. Might have put too much water in it. But there is loads of it, so I've got plenty. Right, so that's the, oh, I can see it's starting to work already. That's the activator on. Now I'm gonna do something else with the, ta the tail guard, I think. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do the hole around the window and then work it down and I'll have a couple of painted areas around here rather than that mess if you know what i mean you know what i mean might have to cut to the next scene for a while or uh, i'll carry on and i'll come back right so where i left you off from um obviously i was only on the other side of been hard at work doing this side and i kind of lost track of time and forgot to film anything so sorry about that uh, i was listening to music and all that sort of thing but as you can see it's coming up rather nice now around here all these little bits of blue this is the activator that i just slapped on uh, i might keep that on there see how it comes up uh, but it gives kind of a little bit more of a patina so i might actually put some of the activator stuff on the rest of the paint see how it comes out might bring it out um in a different way rather than having to rub it all down i haven't got enough paint to do the roof though uh, but i am working my way around the front so if i grab the tripod um back's different as well as you now see so uh, I'll take you around the front. It looks like a completely different car. I love how that's come out. That's just come out amazing. I'm gonna leave that wing. I'm currently designing the front end. So this has only had one coat on it at the moment. So it's going down the bonnet that side, a bit there, a bit there, along this side of the bumper. I'm not gonna do the whole thing and that wing it all ties into one and i will be doing the roof um that's got to kind of be a similar finish to um the rear quarter to give that californian style i might do a little bit on the door here along here to kind of finish it off maybe a couple of little flecks here and there uh, but i'm loving the way it comes out at the moment it is looking spectacular better than i thought it was going to anyway and this is the first time I've ever done a rat look car. So, yeah. I'm liking it. So, uh, I think I'll now put it on probably time lapse. And I'll show you me doing this bit. Because now I remember to film.
Yeah, I've had people walk up and go, is that how you're going to drive it? Yes, yes, this is how I'm going to drive it. Uh, Dad's come back from work. He looks at it and goes, it looks entirely different. Emma's looked at it. My mum's looked at it as well. Yeah, they all think it, uh, it's a completely different car. For the fact that now I do not have to respray the car because it was looking shoddy before with all the paint work and everything. It's like still here, it's still stone chips in the paint. But now because of the design I'm doing, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I like the way it looks. Right, time lapse. Right, so we'll let the front dry a little bit. Put some of the, because uh, I put a little bit of the activator in this bottle as well as it being mostly water. So, all the bits already have been well and truly sprayed. We'll go over and do them again. Now don't forget at the beginning of the video I said that the lights are going to be tinted, the um, back lights and the front lights are going to be tinted. I know you can't see me, I'm behind the car in case you are completely lost for perspective. If the sound's picking up, because I've seen the receiver is by the camera. What I'm doing with this water is letting it uh, sort of make the the, uh, the paint oxidise even more. Now you can use um, salty water. You can also use vinegar. Which pretty much the solution is, it smells like vinegar anyway. That activator stuff anyway, so. It does hurt your arm, it hurt your wrist so far. But it is worth it because the cart looks so good. I've always liked, um, Rat-look cars. Never actually thought about doing one myself. It made me think. You know what? I'm going to do that. Paintwork on the on the on the golf is shocking anyway. So, what difference does it make? And what I like about this as well is it looks authentic. Looks like authentic rust. Caught kind of like that uh, Californian style rust as well. So with this, we'll go over with um, basically just pure activator plus a tiny bit of water um, with the brush to do its first activating coat. And then uh, once that's done its bit, then we'll go over again like we did with this stuff. Hope you're enjoying it guys, because uh, I certainly am. Such a transformation. Wouldn't even know it was the same car. All right. This is pretty much pure active, you know. Talk amongst yourselves. In fact, whilst you're at it, 
why don't you hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, give this video a like share it with your friends and uh, get them watching this video and it might inspire them to um, rat look their car it's not to everyone's taste i know that but it does give out a mean finish especially if the car's already modified which this is this is lowered and it's got a set of rules on it it's got rivers dbz 17 inch wheels on it so plus um lowering springs so if you, you already have that you're just enhancing your um your look really even though i am enjoying myself my back does hurt it is uh, quite a lot of work to be fair probably a good thing i didn't film with it you were probably got bored. A bit there, a bit there. Yeah, see, that's still a bit wet, but if anything, it'll add to the uh, to the design. Bit. Can you tell what it is yet? No, I've said it before. There we go. Right, we'll let that uh, do its what's it. It's magic. And we're like a plant, keep watering it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed um, this uh, different take, take really, on uh, on car design. Um, yeah, my moustache hair in my mouth. Yeah, I really like the way it's come out so far. Obviously it's going to keep um, evolving because the lights are going to be tinted. Same with the back, same with the side repeaters. The wheel is going to be a different colour. It's going to have a roof rack. The roof's going to be done. It's going to be a constant evolution. But so far, in stage one, I think it looks absolutely amazing. And uh, I would hope as well is that you uh, think the same. Say it in the comments if you would. Please uh, give this video a like if you do like it. And uh, why not subscribe to the channel? I know I said it already, but I'm saying it again. So yeah, please subscribe. And uh, hopefully, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.